at FlexFireLEDs.com here to show you how to install LED flick flexible strip lighting with an in-wall dimmable wall switch. Now the wall switch is going to be hooked up to your magnetic dimmable power supply which then goes to your lights. You can see here as you move the slider up and down we dim and increase the light. We can turn it off and turn it back on. Now we've been getting hit with a ton of questions on this. Uh, a lot of phone calls and emails on how to install it. So we've set up this mock wall um, to show you the back side of how you're going to install this. The wiring, the placement. Um, so a little bit further on in the video we're going to go through that. Now before you do any installations electri electrical work in your house or else elsewhere, make sure you consult with your local electrician. You got to make sure that you go to your breaker box and you turn off the breaker to the part of the house that you're going to be doing electrical work on. And even after you turn it off, go to that part of the house and test the circuit that you're going to be working on. Alright guys, so this, these are the things you're going to need to be able to dim your LED flexible strip lighting. Here we have our LED flexible strip light. This right here is the, the magic of the deal. You have your magnitude magnetic dimmable power supply. And what is compatible, what you have to use with it, is a magnetic dimmer. So, this is off of the compatible list. It's a Lutron Diva dimmer. Um, you got to make sure you get the right product number from Lutron uh, to ensure it'll work with the magnetic dimmer. Uh, they're real easy to come by. This one came off of Amazon.com. Um, and then you'll have here wire rated for in wall use, Romex, some different types of connectors of butt splices, wire nuts, and then this here connects your strip light to the wiring in your house. So, I took the Lutron dimmer out of the box. Uh, I wanted to just give you a little bird's eye view of it before we went ahead and started installing. It has four wires coming off the back in this particular model. You have green for ground, uh, and then it's set up for a three-pole, meaning multiple switches for one light, like having one switch on either side of the room. In this case, we're going to use it for single pole, meaning just one switch for one set of lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a wire on the middle, on the middle, or a wire cap on the middle wire, and now we have the two wires that we're really going to be working with. This is the Magnitude Magnetic LED Power Supply in a NEMA 3R enclosure. There's not too many pictures out there of this of transformers in 3R enclosures, uh, the inside. So we're going to open it up and go ahead and give you an inside look at what's going on. There's five wires inside this. We have a green for ground. This is your input, black and white, and your output, blue and red. The uh, Magnitude puts out a great little cheat sheet on which wires do what and what to hook up. It's super easy. This is the installation instruction for the transformer. You have the input side, which is the white, the black wires, and you also have your green for ground, so your white and your black. On the output side, your 12 volt side, you have the red and the blue wires, red and blue, they go to your light. Here we've made a mock-up of what your wall looks like so that we can simulate an installation for you. This would be your drywall. This is the cutout where your switch is going to go into. On the back side, you see we have the box for the switch. It's mounted to the stud. These are the studs. This is pretty much what the back of your wall looks like. Just these are a little bit closer than what's actually in your walls. Your transformer is going to get mounted inside one of these studs or up in your attic somewhere that has proper ventilation uh, and as close to the lights as possible. So the Lutron Diva switch comes with this awesome install sheet that goes ahead and shows you how to remove your current normal switch and install the dimmer switch. Alright guys, so we have our wires. We have one set of wires that's incoming and one set of wires that's going to the lights. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hook our whites up together our grounds are going to go together along with the ground from the switch and then the blacks we're going to have one black to go to black and then the power goes through the switch and the dimmer to the red and that's going to go to the other black. We've used the appropriate UL listed wire nuts to connect the wires. We connected the whites together. We connected the ground from the dimmer switch along with the grounds from the in wall wires and then the black wire that comes out comes down and in and then the outbound goes to the red and into is off to the transformer. 
So now that our switch is in place, what we're going to do is we're going to run wires if they're not already existing to where the magnetic power supply is going to be located. We want the power supply to be as close to the lights as possible to limit the amount of voltage drop that's going to occur. Mag magnitude magnetic power supply has two mounting brackets for screws put right in your studs and it has three quarter inch knockout standard in electrical industry. I've already knocked out this one side. It showed, it comes to you with both sides still in, so you have the option of choosing. All right, so what we're looking at here now is we've mocked up putting the transformer pretty close to where the switch is, and that's only because the lights are gonna be on the other side of the drywall. So in your situation, more than likely, your switch is going to be pretty far away from the transformer. So you're putting the transformer as close to the lights as you can. Now what we're looking at here is the lights, the power, excuse me, came in from the house into the switch and then comes out into the, into the transformer. We've run the wire in through the knockout on the other side and the wire is coming in right here, these three wires here. The, the ground right here is from the magnitude transformer. We have the two, the white and the black which is the input side of the transformer, and the red and the blue. The black goes to the black, the white goes to the white, the ground goes to the green, and these two wires here, the red and the blue, are going to go to our lights. So, so far, from the house, we have 120 volts coming in for, along this wire. It comes into the housing, goes through the switch, and comes out to the power supply. We hooked up the wires like we talked about, using appropriate uh, UL wire nuts. We're going to go ahead and close up the power supply and then we ran this wire down to the lights. Okay, so we've closed up the back of the transformer. We've run our wire to where the lights are going to be. The Romex from the transformer pops out right here. We butt splice it to the solderless connector which connects to our lights. Now you're looking at this and you're wondering, well, um, I don't want to see all this. Well, this is going to be underneath your cabinet, on top of your cabinet. Um, you know, in a hidden place, uh, you, we generally don't have line of sight to these lights. These are generally an indirect type of lighting. So this is all going to be hidden. Maybe it's behind a molding, whatever. We go ahead and we hit the switch and we can increase and decrease off and on.